I'm going to be mixing and matching some parts, but the star of this show is this uh, the i7 10700K. This is a LGA, this is a 1200 socket. And then we're going to be using the new Z490M gaming motherboard here by Gigabyte. This is a LGA 1200 with a Z490 chipset. So I'm going with the Dark Rock 4. This is a 200 watt TDP recommended air cooled heat sink here. So it's a little bigger than I'd like, but actually it doesn't look bad. It's not that big of a, of a, it's a little bigger than their slim version, obviously, but you know what? We need that for this chip. Heavy motherboard. So we'll just gently set this into place. Little wiggle to be sure she's sitting in there just fine. And we'll go ahead and lock this into place. That is normal for the cover to pop off like that. In this core, you will find all the instructions in different languages. The cooler itself, there's a couple of packs, one for Intel, one for AMD, and then this is your general uh, brackets that will be used uh, on either application along with some thermal paste. It looks like because it requires a back plate that we need to put on this, and we're gonna do that now. I'm going to start off with this back plate. Flip our motherboard over. Line the line that up. Yes, it looks like the inside notches of this is what we're going to use for the 1200 socket. Take note of that. These are the screws that we're going to need to use. We'll drop these in here. And see what we can do about maybe, I'm going to do crisscross. Starting there and there. Then I'm going to put my fingers on both so it doesn't fall out. Flip it over. Then I'm going to use these rubber washers next to push down over those screws. There's one here. And I'm still holding with my two fingers underneath. So I don't know if you can see rubber washers on two of the screws. Now I can let go of the bottom because those washers are holding it in place. Flip it back over and I'll drop in the other two. Put my fingers on that, flip it back over, and we'll put rubber washers on those also. That'll help hold everything kind of into place. Then I can just let go completely, set it down. ready for the next step. We're going to take these nuts here for the Intel bracket. These have grooves on the top and not on the bottom so be sure the grooves on the top are facing up and we're just going to screw those down onto those threaded nuts screws that we put in. We're going to screw that down hand tight. Oh goodness, the provided screwdriver that they provide. Matter of fact, let's try that. Whichever you prefer and whatever you're more comfortable with. Let's try this one again. Okay, good. We'll just a little hand tight, like I say, snug them up. That's all you need to do. Now we go on to the brackets. Okay, for the 1200 socket with these 
brackets that are included on the dark rock. You want to use, and be sure this is facing the correct way, with the hooked ends facing towards the processor. You want to use the inside slots. And you want to use these uh, Phillips head type screws to hold them in place. Oh, hey, their screwdriver's magnetized too. How about that? There's that one. Nice little bonus magnetized screwdriver. Not a bad screwdriver. Pretty heavy duty. Same thing on this other side, everybody. Inside brackets. Inside slots of the bracket. There we go. We just give them a nice, again, it's just a little snug. A little snug. That's all you need. Great. Now on to the next step. Thermal compound. We're going to use what they provided. Put a nice little pea size here. And then what I'm going to do, this is my preference, is I'm going to use a clean, fresh Ziploc baggie. Put my finger through it. And I'm going to spread it. This is how I want to do it. You may have another method by all means. You don't have to do it this way. Just enough. All this thermal paste does is fill in micro, micro scratches. So you don't need a big blob of it. And you don't need an over excessive amount. Just enough to fill in micro scratches is all that is for. That is perfect. Okay, the ever important part of this, removing this clear plastic protective cover. Do not forget to do that. Then we wanna be sure that our Be Quiet logo is facing the correct way when we place this on the board. I'm gonna go ahead and take my bracket out. Yeah. All right, and we're going to nice and gently set our cooler on our processor center. We're going to take the bracket and we're going to feed it through the center. Get it lined up here. Okay, and it looks right. We'll get our screws started. We can use our nice long screwdriver. Start on this side. Go down a bit. We have our other screw. We're going to go in this other side. Maybe out of camera, but I'm doing that. Okay, that's going down in there just fine. So I'll just tighten it up on either side. One at a time. Little there. Little here. Little here. Now these you want pretty snug. Okay. Notice how I'm doing one side at a time. Very little. So we don't put too much pressure on one end or the other. And you want to keep doing that until it gets quite snug. That's snug. And that is it.
that is mounted onto our 1200 socket just like that very nice now we're going to install the fan this is not the dark rock be quiet slim this is actually the larger version of it this is the dark rock 4 so it's a little bigger one thing you want to keep in mind of course you got to watch out for the height to be sure that fits your case but also keep in mind that with the dark rock be quiet cooler and your memory installed here once you mount that it's going to be sitting right on top of your memory so even if you have a four ram stick same thing so what's going to happen there is that forces the the fit to be just a little higher than the cooler so keep that in mind when you're sourcing out a case and you're using the dark rock it doesn't look bad it doesn't affect performance but you know this is this has always been one of the issues of using uh you know larger air cool heat sinks is the ram configuration just keep in mind of this issue with your ram if you have rgb if you have rgb rams in here you know you might not see some of them you know simply because of the configuration of the cooler so keep that in mind good point to know we should be fine this is the configuration i'm going to go with you do also have the option of mounting this and doing a pull configuration actually this should be turned around like this you could do a pull configuration where the cooler gets mounted like this i mean the fan gets mounted like this to where it pulls the air through that way your ram is not being bothered at all but i'm going to go with the push it's not going to affect performance at all being up a little bit higher and by the time it's installed it's not going to look that bad all right you just want to wrap your little bracket wires around around the, the uh notch holes there the fan holes that i have shown like this get one side started set that right on top of that memory right there and we'll wrap this around this side and get it kind of in position like that okay something similar to like this here we'll get our other side on here Pinch it tight, pull it around. That's how your brackets there should look, holding your fan in. A little dark there. There you go, holding your fan in there. You see the brackets nice and tight is sitting on top of the ram. So listen, if this fan configuration is not working for you and you want an alternative, you can feel free, and it will work, feel free to use a regular 120 millimeter you know, uh, performance type fan like this Noctua. You can use a 120 millimeter fan in place of that. And as you can see here, if that was to go there, that's sitting on top of the RAM and you can see that it will, uh, it'll lay flush with that heat sink. So keep that in mind when installing these fans that you do not have to use the be quiet fan that's installed or you could add another fan and a push pull configuration back like this you can use a black fan a black noctua fan i was just using this as an example and they give you two more brackets here to to do that so we could change that fan out if we don't like it or if it don't fit the case or you know it'll still this will still i think sit on that ram though Pretty much but at least you won't have a big lip sitting up here at the top we're just going to try it like this for now so let's go ahead and plug in our CPU header plug in our fan header Ooh, there we go looking good okay look at that CPU temp 33. 
That's what we like to see. Of course, I'll adjust the memory frequencies. We'll set XMP here in a moment. Cool looking BIOS, man. I like it. Pretty nice. Yep. So that's it. So just a quick video I wanted to do real quick, just showing the new 1200 socket processor, a little bit of the Z490 chipset motherboard, little installation of our Be Quiet Dark Rock real quick on there, looking good, performing well. Yeah, I might do a little more of a video on assembly of this guy, but for this video, that's going to be it. Have a great YouTube day. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, See you soon.